welcome back to the channel welcome back explorers my name is jack you join me here today as we're jumping into more of the nascar highlights i know they're not incredible i know they're not well put together but it's letting me know what's going on in the nascar world this one is angry drivers and a thrilling race at richmond and no idea what's going to happen Who's going to win? Is it going to be Chase Elliott? Is it going to be Truex Jr? Is it going to be a Logano win? I'm excited. If you are new around here and you like what you see and you enjoy what I'm doing, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's YouTube know I'm doing something you enjoy. If you're old around here, welcome back explorers. Let me know if you haven't already, if you're at this race, who your favorite driver is if you have already told me your favorite driver no need to do it again i do also like hearing the drivers you dislike the most so let me know down in the comments and give me a reason why you don't like them other than that no long intro i'm excited to get into this join me won't you as we look at richmond what will we see for 400 laps in richmond let's find out Green flag. That said lap one on wet weather tires. Was it raining? Larson's out in front, followed by Elliott, Chastain, Bowman. Into that corner, feeling it out, then going. This is a fast track, especially with how slick the, the, the track itself looks. Takes it. Three, four wide back there. Also, I just want to very quickly talk about the course of the Americas. Thank you, everyone, that commented on that. The thing I was talking about going through corners are how wide and low. Like, the car itself seems like the whole vehicle moves. That's all I was trying to speak at at the last one. Go and watch it if you don't know what I'm on about. Other than that, no more pausing. Well, now you're seeing these drivers learn every lap. Okay, this that corner had this much grip. Now we're going to go to the next corner, push it a little bit harder, and we saw guys all the way up against the wall. And the best thing that I see right now is a very limited amount of spray, which is vision is everything that everybody was worried about. Business is picking up. It's getting faster. You're seeing okay, it's drying out. Okay, run lap 23. Sometimes the editing on this doesn't the do the race, race, race any justice. So I apologize if I miss anything. In the 90s, right, uh, right close to that, Kevin. Well, now, now is when it's going to start getting interesting because the lap time is really colorway on that nos car have a lot of grip but as we see that track starting to lighten up on the bottom of the racetrack and get drier that's when it starts to become really hard on those tires and you're going to start seeing a lot of people start to wear that right front tire out mm -hmm. chastain coming up knocking on the Woo! door of those hendrick drivers running side by side looking to pounce on both of them hendrick have been doing well no? third and there's the caution why Take a breath and we'll take a break. We got 30 laps in to the Toyota owners 400. I gotta say, what caused what caused the caution? Tires and now we will switch to drives. Oh, let's get back. Oh, to okay. I'm guessing that was until the track dried up enough for tires to be changed. Makes sense. 22 to go of stage one. Larson's in the lead, followed by Wallace, Bowman, Elliott, and well, Chastain. That's what I was talking about, Clint. You see Bubba Wallace up on the outside right there. It may look a little bit wet, but Ooh. see him trying to keep Kyle Larson. Wallace is keeping him now. I was going to say, he's not letting him get anything. Is going to be going to be slicker than he probably wants it to be. Sure is. Kyle Larson just barely holding on to that. I was going to say, they are putting the pressure on him. He's definitely against each other here. This next gen car is not as sensitive to the to to that as the as the old car was but the thing that that i noticed clint they are Kyle really really pushing each other here it's wet wetter getting into the corner than it is uh, get into the outside and, and good overtake the opposite in the corners oh part being the second groove up be good in the dry either continues to go back to oh, oh sure. you son of a control it control it control it control it almost control it oh Cautional wave at lap 64. Damn. That could be your stage end. <sighs> well, he was ninth, and now he's all the way back down. Man, Barry, obviously not ideal here, but he is on fire, on a roll. 
What happened here? Just a... Was it intentional, do we think? You can see him lift out of the gas. Mm. He's pretty high up on the corner. Mm. Unfortunately, got in the back of it. That was just a bit of unlucky there. Kurt and I have spent the last five minutes arguing about our fantasy teams. <laughs> you're, in, you're in trouble. Kevin. Here we go. Stage end. Just stage end. Hold on. Stage end. <laughs> third stage win of 2024. Woohoo! And his first at Richmond. Well done, Larson. All right, stage two. Stage two is Larson out and running. Wallace. Back to green. Whoa, Bo Wallace got loose. I was going to say, Wallace is driving a little bit Gets back to his outside, aggressive. Though. Yeah, we saw this last time, Clint. We saw Bubba Wallace be right on the side of, of Kyle Larson. I think Kyle Larson has a little better idea of Wallace where wants the grip him. level is this time, but Bubba Wallace fights back on the outside. And think better of it and go to the bottom. Whoa. Over, I think you got to be really careful about using up your tires on the restarts. We're, we're back to, to dry racetrack. Uh, and this racetrack is going to settle in and we're going to see a typical Richmond race as, as we get two and a half, three grooves that we see dry in, in the corners right there. But these restarts can be tough on the dry, on the on the tires. Well done Caution. on Truex being anyway, so high up. Caution. And now he's first. So good on Truex. Caution at lap one see, that's the thing that's kind of, caution of the That's the only thing that throws me off with this, I'll be honest, is the editing that NASCAR do. Sometimes it will jump 20 laps at a time. So someone that was in 12th is now in first and the person that was in the lead has crashed out or something, you know, sometimes they do miss the trick a few times with, with what they're showing to people. Night. Rebel Bourbon. Never had it, but it's right there on screen. And Kyle Busch bounced off the wall. We're waiting on word from NASCAR, but that may be. Is he okay? The for the caution. Way up out of the groove, you seem. Oh, he was and way up out of the groove. Like a, a brake issue, or maybe a right front down, Kevin? Yeah, the car. It's like a weird straight. lockup. Not a right front. Oh. It's definitely not down. Yeah, something's. Hmm. Truex, Logano, Barry, and Bell. Now you see Martin Truex with a huge jump on the on the restart right there. This is a, a huge Ryan jump on the restart. The oh, still getting hit. And a few crashes and here and there. Get back down. That highlighter yellow Menards car, man, stands out like a sore thumb. <laughs> now, a number of drivers did not pit on that caution to get back onto the lead lap. They include uh, Bowman, Gilliland. Not pitting to me is crazy. If everyone's there. House, Burton, and Suarez. I think Bowman was the one that didn't need that caution the most. Really hurt him. Had a good car running in the top five. Untimely caution bit him. Well, we're going to see how good this five car is, Clint, being able to come through traffic and make passes. And I was going to say, see if it can actually get in there and make the passes. I think he's, uh, he wants to do this as early as possible to not lose touch with the leaders. He's... I think he'll be fine. He'll I'll give it to Larson. He's pushing. Stage. Keep going. You yeah. know that. Well, yeah. what, what he's saying is he won't have to start at the tail end of the longest line. That's yeah. for the lucky dog. So yeah. he wants to not be the. There seems to, to be like a lot of interpersonal battles going on on so this track, and that's normal, fine by me. <laughs> and he just might be able to do it right here. He's trying. Like there's Holding a lot down. of. Holding tight. Final lap, stage Fight two. for Here certain positions. Line. Bowman with a head of steam on the outside. Oh! Ah, that was so close. I don't think Truex did. I think <laughs> Truex was ahead of him. but Maybe. Maybe that. just. He knows how strong that car is. He, he get him a lap down, I'm going for it. Absolutely. You yeah. want to pin, pin him a lap down. A good jump on did he get it? half is going to be key. The five car. Can he stay door to door? Final door stage. Let's, let's go. Take his exit away off the two. Not such a good jump this time. Five car had laid back right there, and he went way late in the restart zone, and that was always a tough one for me with the wheel spin. Um, but when you're the leader, you have that choice anywhere in that box. <laughs> Chastain, every restart. Whoa, he's, he's got a move way up to the outside. You've got a little bit of a lead there. And this That's crazy. Got a lot of company back there. Logano Logano. Yeah, sir. I was going to say, he's Look chasing out the outside, outside old Logano. Hamlin. I know a lot of you aren't a fan of Logano. Well, I know. <laughs> car to come in. Well, you heard Joey Logano 
Talk about Hamlin and Logano. Now that's a conversation like I want to hear up. amongst fans in the comments. Who's the most disliked out of the two? That Hendrix team, so fast. Time today. With just 63 laps to go. Look at this, boys. Kyle Larson got him in the pits. Kyle Larson exactly got him. We were talking about there. I don't know how it happened. We're gonna have to go back and dissect it, but he darn sure got him beat in the pits. Oh, is he lapped him? Well, we saw him huge. We saw them come on the pit road together, and that gap had to happen in the pit stall. Look at them boys. With those guys up. changing those tires. Very nice. Fuel in the car, so. Now, for the moment, those two are the first cars one lap down, with Denny Hamlin the leader and uh, Christopher Bell. Well, being the only cars on the lead lap to yeah. recycle through. Can he hold him off? Oh, right. right. I get it. I get it. I get it. Truex he's knows there. He has to pounce while he can. Larson's You've got to get him. Oh, he's got him. Oh, what happened the there? Side. Larson's car just hasn't been able to take off early in the run. Oh, hold on. I don't normally go back, but it's like he just oh, gave up there. there. He has to pounce while he can. It's Larson's like there's no power all of a sudden. Holding tight on the what happened there? Larson's car just hasn't been able to take off early in the run. Oh, that was weird. Back up, he? Well, and it looked like it got on the ground right there, but Martin Truex knew that he had to go while he had the, the advantage on Kyle Larson because uh, yeah. it evens out as the, as the run goes on. That's a flex. Drove right back by him. Larson <laughs> takes of a second faster, but Truex takes it back. Here's the race off pit road. Oh, the corner from here we are on the front straightaway. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> out. Trix had to I feel like oh. someone on the Hendrix he team was like, get out, get out, go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, 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 no. We don't do that. We don't do that. Bubba Wallace got the back of Larson right there. And that changes everything. Yes, sure everything. Does. With two laps to go. And oh, I don't know about more that. More than half a lap away from taking the white flag, after which the next flag would end the race. Hmm. We have a caution, and we will reset for overtime. That was a bit of a weird ending there. I feel like that was intentional. Let's have a look. Kyle got loose. Yeah, Kyle got loose. Ah. Up and, and Bubba was just anticipating him having that same pace to get, get in the... Uh, in behind him there and just misjudge let me know in the comments if you think that was intentional or not some history there quite a bit of history I ca yeah see history. i can't say anything but i already know from the short time i've been watching those who don't really get on just so you thought it was safe to engrave the trophy mm, oh. everyone's mad at not that what james small wanted to see what a turn of events here. Martin Truex Jr. on the radio right away. You got to be kidding me. They said, come on, bring it to us. Same with Joey Logano. Put four tires on here. Get that out. Let's go. Good boys. Faster, faster, faster. Let's go. As well as the 23. Nine ins out. Let's go. <laughs> 19. See the 22 up beside him. Keep an eye on Denny Hamlin. It's uh, going to be close to the guys. What's the top speed you're allowed to do in the pit lanes? Is it 60? How about this? <laughs> this is a very strange ending. Denny Hamlin had led twice for 10 laps tonight, and he comes out of pit road with the lead. Two of Joe Gibbs' Toyotas fighting on the front row. It's overtime, sponsored by Credit One Bank, Green, White, Checker, Logano and Larson, Byron and, and away we go! Here we go. <laughs> with an early launch in the restart box. Oh. You see Martin chase him all the way down there with the side draft, trying to hold him at bay so he doesn't... He's trying to keep him low, yeah. Then he ran him up oh! <laughs> Nearly run him out. Still go, 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 go. Again, I don't really have a driver yet. I just enjoy the racing. And when it's like this, this is a close race. Oh, maybe not. What happened there? How did Hamlin just get so much... Truex trying to hold off Larson. All right. Logano's oh. Whoa. I don't 
he didn't like what he saw. Shrex come down door slamming it down, down the back straightaway. Denny, Denny Hamlin, Hamlin winner. Home track win for Hamlin. Home in track. Dakota well done, Hamlin. Crash in turn one. Bit of a uh, weird Hamlin ending there. I'm not going to say. Again after the flag. Wow, way to go, guys. The Thank you. Thank you, pit crew. Absolutely. Thank you, pit crews. Oh. Man, Someone's mad. Everybody. Yep. I didn't see what what Denny Hamlin did wrong. Oh, that was there was some aggression there at the end. I feel like. Again, I'm taking no sides as of now. Well done, to Hamlin, on a home track win. That's got to be a plus. Bit of a weird ending there. I don't fully understand what happened because. That's a lie. I understand what happened with the restart, but I feel like the crash at the final two laps was intentional. I don't know. That was a bit strange. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what to watch next. Other than that, have a great day. Be well and bye bye.